Previously on Life is Strange. Man, that guy is so fucking in love with you. You don't say! I know. <laughs> he really did give a serious beatdown to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. Now let's make a date with Frank. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well why didn't you just tell me? You don't get it, man. This is for a good cause. No, man, I do not get it, especially from a weirdo like you. You know, I hate the way you talk to me like you, like you know more than I do. Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Don't you ever tell me oh, what to do. Get, 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 get a gun! Step the fuck back now! Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, shit. Oh, oh fuck! You. Oh, oh, it's okay. You fucking killed my dog! Oh, my oh, God! Fuck! Oh, my God, Chloe, you're a murderer. Can I rewind? Oh, thank god I can. Alright, let's rewind. The information is one thing, but it's not worth killing him over it. I can tell you for a fact that this will not go well. <sighs> Max, I should have known you would be kind and rewind. So tell me exactly what I need to do here. Uh, you can't piss him off. Please watch your mouth. You have no social skills here, and you will piss off Frank immediately. You come in peace? After you aimed a fucking gun at me, and then you tried the to shank Chloe. Yeah, you, you shanked, you tried to shank Chloe. I was helping Chloe after you threatened to cut her. Remember? She was protecting me. You've got a knife and God knows what else. Exactly. Are you really afraid of Max here? I'm not afraid of anybody except my, oh my maker. God. And you little bitches think you can outsmart me? Why, because I'm trailer trash? You're Blackwell trash. And it's time to take you out. Oh, Calm yeah. down, just Frank. Fuck off, just Frank. Don't you ever tell me what to do? Get it, bitch. Get it. Just, just, just shoot now. him. Just shoot him, Chloe. I don't care anymore. Just shoot him. Oh! oh my God. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. You actually shot me. I wasn't gonna don't hurt you. Fuck. Oh, this fucking With Max eyes. and Chloe. Oh, it hurts. Get wrecked. Chloe. You shot him. I know. You're both he fucking it. crazy. What do you want? We. We just want the code for your account book. Now! <laughs> so fine! Whatever! Just just put the goddamn gun down. You already shot me, alright? This is definitely the place. Let me dig up some more clothes here. Nope. Nothing, Max. There's nothing here. Just some shitty old barn. That's the place where he- Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. Yeah, well, just because there's this barn this. doesn't mean he Hold could on. have taken them there. Somebody named Harry Aaron. That must be Nathan's dad. I'm shocked. Should we call the police? Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? Well, That's off. so messed up. As you've yeah, noticed, this whole town is messed up. We can't trust anybody. We can trust Warren other. or Kate. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. I was afraid you'd say that. We could call yeah, we, Warren we since Warren on this. kicked Nathan's ass. It's just the two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. I'm not always gonna have this it. Close to I, finding Rachel. Kate almost died because they didn't we have my have power. To find her, Max. Open sesame. Oh, uh, this looks just like Vernon's place from Walking Dead Season 1. Stocked and ready for the apocalypse. This must have cost a fortune. Come on. All those binders are filled with other victims. So whoever's doing this, it could be Nathan, Victoria it could be has David. To be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Yeah, Nathan, he he must be Rachel. That's where he goes pictures from. He takes this can't be pictures of them. These are he kidnaps them, These are all post takes shots, pictures right? of them, and then Right. Chloe, look at her. He face. gets off to them, I guess. She's out of it. Maybe maybe Nathan paid her a shitload no, of cash. She got kidnapped by she Nathan. Probably would have. I don't and then, think so. Yeah, we have to... Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Wait, what? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Then, then we can see what he did. He There's no way she's her. dead. No way. She posted. Where'd you get that from? He was, she was it. passed Please. out next to Nathan. There was nothing there of showing she was dead. Chloe, stop. Look. No way. No, she can't really be dead. Oh my god. Are you serious? This whole time she was at the junkyard. Chloe. I'm sorry, Chloe. Oh my god. 
so sorry. I loved her so much. How can she be dead? What kind of world does this? Who does this? This whole time, Rachel was dead. She wasn't like kidnapped or something, and they actually killed her. Oh my god. Oh, so we're finally at the party, okay. I hope Nathan enjoys his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. We have Chloe, that you are about to die graffiti police. right next to your Nathan head is very foreshadowy if I've ever seen so it. We can get real justice and revenge. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is going to get in my way. Especially with your help. Right? I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. Whoa, whoa, Chloe. You, remember, you don't have to go all Columbine on Nathan. I know he probably killed Rachel, but... This isn't the zombie apocalypse. This is modern society. You can go to jail and ruin your life if you kill him. This is like that eclipse. You're right. Oh, they're probably talking the about moon. I can't the tell if they're different. What is there that? Can't be too much. Jesus, Chloe, look up at the sky. Yeah, so Beautiful. I don't give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. You're not listening. Something major is going down. That's right. Nathan Prescott is going down. Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided uh, to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you alright after today? I really flipped out on Nathan. I just hate bullies. And Max, he's dangerous. It's okay, you Where is him. he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? Well, if you consider half a beer drinking... Let's go, Max. Hey, hey. I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, Oh, you're so. just gonna take my camera? I wanna uh, have I was gonna say yes, but no, you just gonna take my prosperity. picture. I'm, I'm just gonna blame it on you being drunk, that one. I, I don't, don't hold it against you, Warren. Warren. I know, I know. I'm a pain in the booty. Just one picture. Uh... Action. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra-violence. I never hit anybody like that before. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey, okay, you wrecked Nathan. we still need your expert. You're, you're a badass now. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. Not to oh, me, Warren. Oh, Warren. Text soon. <sighs> Poor Warren. I really hope she and Max get together. Okay, Max. You're about to enter a party that probably has a lot of drugs and alcohol. No, we gotta make it through without getting white girl wasted. Okay, Chloe, where the hell are you? Oh, yeah. Oh, Stella, hey. Ugh, I hate touching you all these clothes. You did born in an universe, Hi, so... Hey, Max. Welcome to the end of the world. Do you want me to check anything in? Uh, no thanks, Stella. Have you seen Nathan yet? No, thank God. That boy creeps me out. Wait, some girl just asked about Nathan before you came in. That's probably Chloe. Yeah, Nathan's creepy. Why does Nathan creep you out? He should. I, I just want your reasons. He's a bully for one thing, and he hit Warren for another. But have you ever looked at his eyes? Glazed and raging. Me, no what. So why are you working at a Vortex Club party? I didn't think you wanted to be a member. Screw that. I'm here for the job. 
Uh, oh, okay. We'll have to say the unusual. Did you notice anything unusual about the Vortex Club tonight? Yeah, I noticed they don't give a shit about Kate Marsh. I'm glad for the job, but I think Principal Wells should have canceled the party. Guess I'm not cool enough. Yes, you are, Stella. You're smart, honest, and you bust your ass for Blackwell. I hope everything turns out your way in the end. Oh, thank you, Max. I really appreciate that. Hey, your face looks so intense. Are you okay? Uh, no, I'm actually not okay. I, I just need to find Nathan. And don't get too close if you see him. Hell no. This is homework, not a party. I'll text you if I spy him. Good luck. All right, well, we got Solana side now. Let's try not to get Wicker wasted, Max. Are you still down. salty about me going out with Warren? Max, I didn't expect to see you at a Vortex Club party. I didn't expect that either, but I really need to find Nathan. Have you? No, I haven't seen him. And I'm not looking for him, so I most likely won't tonight. I just hate that scrub. And his club. <laughs> she just said scrub. Oh, that's good. Yeah, well, you're not the only one. Nate. You're not the only one. Maybe this party will be the end of the Vortex Club. Then I don't have to pretend like I care anymore. Have you seen Warren tonight? Why? You're the one going out Oh with my him. god, Brooke, oh, stop I being know. so salty about it. I, I am sorry Warren asked me to the movies, but you don't need to give me an attitude. I'd like to think I'm your friend. Yeah, chill out. I know. I get salty when things don't go my way. <laughs> she actually I'm said it. While you go on a roof to help save your friend. God, you're not I feel selfish, like that. bro. You're just trying to live your right. life. Don't nod, you're awesome. Bullshit. Like all of us here. You seem so wise and kind of invincible this week. Well, that's I a that's byproduct of having time powers. powers. Check to see if you can fly. Uh, actually, let's see what you think about that one. Only with your drone. By the way, did you see that crazy double moon out there earlier? Max, if I saw a double moon out there, I would assume it really was the end of the world. Well, the night is still young, Brooke. And so are we, Max. So let's plan a drone date next week. Yes. Alright, Brooke's not salty anymore. Let's go. Is that Alyssa? Oh, Alyssa, hey! Alright, I'm glad you're not getting yourself in any trouble this time. I spoke too soon. Okay. Let's save. Let's go and save Alyssa. Yo, Alyssa, you're gonna get knocked to the pool. Alyssa, incoming! I'm on it. Whoa! Whoa! Of course, my object angel has stepped up every I've saved her every single time. Watching episode, five, like, Thank again, episode 5, like, she ends up dying and I have to save her. Like, the tornado or something. I'm surprised to see you here. Okay, Nathan. Well, yeah, I always warn you. I'm so glad I could warn you about all those sneak attacks. Kinda are a superhero. You always choose to help me. It reminds me of the only poem I can quote by a Robert Frost. Uh, I don't want to sound like a dick. I could use one moment of poetry right now. Okay, but this is like poet karaoke, so don't cringe. I shall be telling this with a sigh. Somewhere, ages and ages hence, two roads diverged in a wood, and I. I took the one less traveled by. That has made all the difference. That was beautiful, Alyssa. It was exactly That was I so cringe worthy. Thanks for the <laughs> No, I'm, I'm joking, that was nice. Thanks for watching my back. Blackwell would be so much cooler if we all did that for everybody else. But you're a great start, Max. 
I know I am. I'm a superhero. Yo! Oh yeah, Nathan's probably in there. Excuse me, but I'm going in. Sorry, but this is the VIP section. Members only. Okay? Sorry, but I'm on the list. Okay? I know that Max Caulfield is not on any list for the Vortex oh, Club. Nice try. I, knew I, should have. I had listen. the option episode three no, put myself on the list, listen. and I didn't take it. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, oh, not me. Courtney. So please I, go. I told her about it back in episode. I want to be in back in episode two. I just need to I find her. We need to find a way to enter this bullshit club. Courtney, are you in? Are you over here? Courtney. Oh, there she is. Okay. Courtney, I need your help. Hey, Courtney. How are you? Max, our guest star arrives fashionably late. <laughs> Say bonsoir to the end of the world. Even though you flaked on my party makeover, you still yeah, get well, special access to the in? VIP lounge. You better look your minion note since she won't let me pass. Oh, that little asshole just made her last mistake. She thinks she's Victoria. <laughs> bye bye. Oh, she's now, really Let's go make an official VIP entrance, Max Factor. <laughs> get it? No, I don't. Let, let's do it. Hey, Sarah. Yo, um, ho. Do you know that I've personally put Max's name on the list? So, you like to decide to block her from coming in while I'm taking a break? <laughs> you're not in charge here. Wait, I, I just. Uh, oh my god, you're done. And you're off the list permanently. Welcome to the Vortex Club. Ah, uh, get right, Sarah. Alright. And now one step closer to finding Nathan. Nathan is the Vortex Club. So his ass has to be here tonight. Kate? This is Max. I know Victoria. Oh, Victoria! Victoria, yo, you're gonna die. Victoria, your pictures. I gotta warn Sorry, you. Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry, I'm on the. Victoria, case. you're gonna die. I need I'm to save you. Go fuck yourself, yeah, I don't, Victoria. Okay. I don't have time for this <laughs> bullshit. Nice one, Real Max. Cute, Max. And after I apologized to you the other day, do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh tried to kill herself in front of you and me. Everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. It's totally your fault. Yeah, but I, uh, I blame Nathan for dosing Kate, that. but nobody at that party even cared she was so wasted. It's a fucking party. Everybody is wasted. What do you want from me? Some humanity, Victoria. You're the one who got suspended, Max. And I'm the only person here who cares what Nathan is going through. So I'm not the only person. Yeah, well, you should tell him to back off this from trying to murder than people. A problem, child. I'm not perfect, okay? I'm a teenager at an art school. I'm only here to become a photographer and get famous. <laughs> she sucked. You have, have talent, talent, Victoria. She's good. You don't have to push She's people out of your this. way. You don't understand. My parents own a gallery. I know how this art game has to be played. It's brutal. No, it's art. You don't have to play their way. Look at me. I got the judge of the contest suspended. On point, Max. Thanks for admitting again that I have some talent. Not that I think I always do. Right, I don't either. Stop being a bitch to me, Victoria, please. That's the choice you made. Hard to believe, but I don't always make the best choices. Do you think it's like fake we're not supposed to be friends? Oh, we don't have to be friends. Maybe, but who says we have to be enemies? Whoever makes that decision. That would be us, Victoria. Well, Max Caulfield, I could always choose to let you in the Vortex Club. I don't think that's going to happen. But not for the reasons you think. Oh, you look so serious. Uh, duh, I'm gonna warn her. 
Victoria, listen to me. Your life is in serious danger. I know Nathan is your friend, but he is truly unstable and dangerous. He did drug Kate at that party so he could take her someplace dark. What? Nice try, Max. But I don't believe you. And oh, why would he do that? Yeah. That I don't know yet. But it was enough to make Kate want to die. Please, Victoria. And I think you're next. Max, that is crazy. Nathan is like one of my best friends. Yes, he takes serious meds, but that's not his fault. His family treats him like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. They're not little anymore. They're deadly. Yeah, you got great to kill over it. I don't care if hate me or not, but you have to believe me. You could have been a major bitch to me when I got hit with that paint. And yes, I could have, but I didn't. Max, I don't hate you. I actually think you're one of the coolest people at Blackwell. Weird, but cool. You just don't know it yet. Maybe I'm jealous because you don't okay, give then. a shit what anybody thinks, and I do. To be honest, Nathan has been freaking me out lately. He's not here, and I haven't seen him. Just make sure you stay away that? from him. And stick close to your friends tonight, okay? I let you boss me around this one time. And I have yes. other people I can go to for protection. Thanks for telling me this, Max. If what you said is true, then you be careful too. I've got my own protection. Oh, I will. Um, I've got time powers. Text me if you need anything. I will. Thanks, Victoria. Au revoir. That went over well. Oh, Chloe, finally. Maybe there's hope yet for Victoria. Chloe, Nathan is Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs or in the locker. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan well, can't hide. Have him. Shit out of him, so I wouldn't. Oh, uh, hey, Mr. Jefferson. Hey, what's up? Are you both okay? You look like you're on a, a mission. Oh, uh, I was just looking for Nathan. Uh-huh. I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the uh, the whole Tate situation. Yeah, that makes yeah, sense. Right. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost on. Get the hell out of here, Max. He's got no Nathan. Okay, okay, everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. I, look, I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about entering. Now this is be either Kate the most or Victoria. Important step in being an artist. Victoria Sharing because your work she with bribed the him or Kate because, All of you represent Blackwell um, Academy she and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is... Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria Chase. Of course. Thank you so much, Mr. Jefferson. It was your incredible well, mixed, photography that brought though. me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to Kate Marsh. <laughs> she is the real everyday hero of Blackwell, and I can't wait for her to come back. Thank you. You suck, Victoria. Victoria, big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. Yes, I can. 
Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass now. Me too. Yeah. Well, let's right, go check out the get, You have a revenge boner, but let's we gotta play cool. Oh Christ! Nathan just texted me. He says he says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. We have to go to the junkyard right now. Alright, this is probably the end of the episode right here. And now there's only one minute. Stop stomping around, Chloe. Right. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. Oh god, this would be so scary if you went here at night time. Nathan? You here? We won't kill you, I promise. You in here? What the hell? So we catch Nathan, you oh, gross. Kill him over and over. Jesus, be quiet, okay? We have to be invisible. Rachel, Chloe. Damn it, Nathan. You really have to do that. Got a lot of work to do. Come on. Oh, come I... on. Nathan needs to die now. Oh, for I... God's sake, Chloe. You have to be quiet. Yeah, exactly. We could die, okay? Damn, birds. Rachel, I will get your revenge. I swear. Nathan, you here, dude? God, I want to fucking kill that little psycho. Max, hey, please hurry! I can't. Oh God, Max, look. She's still there. Don't look, Chloe. Good. Okay, so I guess Nathan is trying to beat us or something. <gasps> oh shit! Oh no, he drugged her. Shit. Chloe. Chloe, no. Look out. He gets around. Oh fuck. Oh no. Shit. Chloe. Wait, that's not Nathan. I fucking knew it! It's Jefferson, holy shit! Oh my god. What I saw his face, I'm like, no way, is that Jefferson? Oh god. Wow. That was Life is Strange, episode 4 of the Dark Room. But holy shit, that ending. So, uh, is Jefferson working with the Prescotts? And Chloe's dead, but um, I guess in episode 5 we'll find a way to rewind time and save her. We've only got one day left till the tornado hits. Well, let's see what our choice is. Okay. You and 50% of players accept Chloe's request, 42% refused. Yeah. Because like, it was Ultra Universe Chloe and... I can understand where she's going from seeing how she's gonna die anyway. So th that's that. You let Warren beat the shop, Nathan. Yeah, I guess why most people stopped him, but it was so fun to watch. Um, Chloe killed Frank. Chloe when Frank no one got hurt. Oh, okay, so I could have kept Frank um safe, but uh, I think it's better if he got wounded because then he just won't be able not have to mess with us anymore. And then Victoria believes your warning. Yeah, so. At least we know she's not gonna die like Chloe and Rachel did. You saved the blue jay, yes. I guess not a lot of people noticed that. You didn't disturb the bird nest, what? 
I remember seeing that. Found David's code. Yep, I remember it was in the lock. Key helped you find Nathan's room. Yes. You didn't motivate Daniel to move, but he shouldn't have to go. You left the message on Warren's slate. Yes. You figured out Nathan's pin code. Yes, it was his birthday. And you helped Alyssa for the fourth time. All right. Are we going to get an episode five teaser? Ooh, yes, we are. Oh, we're back in the dark room. Oh, no, he's going to, like, now he's going to, like, take pictures of her. Max. Oh, God. Oh, that's so messed up. Whoa! Shit's going down at Blackwell. Life is Strange, Episode 5, Polarized. Wow. Okay, this is a dedication. It's gonna be crazy in Episode 5. Um, so, once again, I'd like to thank you all for watching my Let's Play of Life is Strange, Episode 5, Dark Darkroom. Episode 5, Polarized. I have no idea when that's coming out, but it's definitely gonna be one hell of an ending. If you like this Let's Play series, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Yeah.